Hello everybody, my name is Mitch. Welcome back to my single player. Mitch plays Minecraft, Mitchcraft World. And today could possibly be the last episode we do in Minecraft 1.12. I think, well, at this time it's the weekend, so it'll be a couple of days from where I'm at. But this Wednesday, possibly today, Minecraft 1.13 is supposed to be released. Now, it's no promises, but I'm looking forward to it. You know, I've been talking about it for a while now. Seems like... I don't even know how long it's been since they announced the thing. Oh, and I've been making a little horse stable here. I'm sorry I missed last week. You know, time was just not on my side. But I've been kind of playing around with this, that, and the other. Just started working on this one day. And I was like, well, I can make an episode out of this. Nope, no time. Time ran out for me. Time. <sighs> Never have enough time. But, so, I'm just about ready to finish this up. And then we've got some more nether horses over here. These were actually at the Ocean Monument. We just spawned on the island where I get all my sand. So I brought them over here. And we're going to give them all three names. But first, let's go ahead and finish this off here. What I had planned at least. I want to do that. And then maybe do signs across here. And then plant some nether wart on top. Let me grab that. Yeah, and I go doop, doop, doop. Just added a little bit more color into this area. I'm really happy with how this all turned out. This is one of those things where I was kind of just like adding one thing at a time. Being like, well, what would look good here? Well, what would look good here? I wanted to kind of mix in a lot of different other block types too. I kind of had that more redder kind of contrast up against this. I like it okay. Something just slightly off about it though, but... It'll work. Put this here. <clears throat> Put the sign. 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 Then do 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 do. I'll do the same thing here. Kind of just had this plotted out in my head that I want to put these here. Because it's kind of like your potted plant of the nether. Speaking of which, I have potted plants too. So I guess we can go ahead and put those down. We got flower pot. And then cactus. Why cactus? Because it's the evilest plant of them all. You know, it's got spikes and stuff on it. Belongs in the nether. The nether's an evil, evil place. Here we go. Oh, I didn't do this side. Put this across. And... But yeah, I'm thinking, well, at least starting... Well, maybe not starting next episode, but very soon... I'd like to start a tropical build to kind of fit in with the whole aquatic update. It's at least what I'm thinking. I may find something else and be like, oh, look at this. This place would, er, would be a great place to build too. But soon, I do mean it soon, we'll be starting a new project in a new place. And we won't be going back and forth to all these different places. Well, maybe not as often as I have been. Like the last few months. Updating and redesigning a lot of my older buildings. We may still kind of come back and work on things here and there. It's kind of whenever we need a break, more so than just waiting for an update. All right, go across here, across there. Let's plant this across that way. Put that across this way, and then six signs. Five signs now. Okay, put those there. And put this over here. <clears throat> now I almost thought like, oh, I could redesign all these tunnels too. Nope. Nope. Whole bunch of nope. Not going to do that. Just getting in what I did get in as far as details go. Uh, well, let's just say some of these tunnels are super long. But I don't mind doing like little spot updates like this. I do this in a couple of more places eventually. Where we have little, like it's a little hub inside of the hub. And we've got the nether hub here. It's like the mini nether hub. Let's put up the rest of these signs in this. Um, hmm, let's go ahead and name our horses. We've got famine, war, and pestilence. I went with a theme here, if you couldn't tell. 
And our other nether horse, which is way off that way, I think it's at the Spiked Ice Castle. Its name is Skeletor. So, going with the theme of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Yes, Skeletor was one of them. Don't question me. So let's just right click. Yep. Okay, we got pestilence. We have war. And we now have famine. Awesome. Okay, all three of these guys have names now. So now let's see if we can't ride them in to their new little home over here. Let's see. Can I open those up? Yeah. Go right in here. Shut that. But yeah, I figured it'd be nice to have them stored over here just in case we need them. Because, well, with our the rest of our episode, we're going to be working on an ice road over there. And that's going to kind of break up our horses. So I need to kind of have at least one more horse for traveling over here. And then the other two are going to be put up. Let's go in here. And I, I, I don't even think about it. No. This is your home now. So that means we're going to be left with war. What is it good for? Riding around and getting to places. All right. So let's go ahead and take this one over to our next little hub of construction. Hub is my word of the day. What's your word of the day? Leave it in the comments. But yeah, we got this little place to park right here. And, whoop. Oh, hey, stop it. Look at all of this. All this packed ice. This is a good supply of my packed ice that I gathered from working on the spiked ice castle. I put it to good use. It's just this is a super long road all the way over to that side of the Minecraft world. And I'm going to get my supplies together here and we're going to start building a place to crash the boats into to break them and then to kind of store them over here to the side. How do we like the carpet design in here? I just wanted to kind of mix it up. Plus it kind of keeps zombie pigmen from spawning inside of here too. Cause I do have various regions around here where they can spawn, which isn't too bad, but this whole big room was spawning a whole bunch of them. I kind of like it. It's kind of kind of evil nethery feeling with all the grays and the blacks. And I don't know. It's just like a random mixture of carpet. Didn't really go with any kind of design or look. It's just kind of like, Oh, I'll put one over here. Oh, now I'll put one over here. Oh, now I'll put one over here. But oh, all in all, I like it. Let me know what you think, though. All right, we got our supplies up here. Um, let's go ahead and get to work, I guess. Let's see. I've designed this before. So we're kind of going off memory. Is this my... It's going to be a fortune pick, isn't it? Yep. Dang it. All right. Let's go get the silk touch. Put the fortune one up. There we go. That is silk touch, right? Yeah. I like keeping those two handy just in case. We're gonna put sand here, cactus there. Now we're gonna put the slab on top of the cactus. Bloop. Just like that. And so boats will come running through here, crash into that. Hmm. So now we're going to need a way to catch the boats as they come in. So we're going to need this, this, and that. And we'll have this go. Well, we might just put the chest over here. I don't know. Is that going to be convenient if we just... Yeah, I think so. Put chest here. Ooh, I'm going to be able to see through that. Do I have any stone anywhere? I'd like to replace that. Did I put any stone in here? Nope, oh, that's boats. Aha! Here we go, stone brick. Because I don't want it to look messy. So, be very careful here not to break 200 blocks. Eh. Oh, too much. Okay, we can fill that in in a minute. Actually, do like that. 
We put this here. Fill that in there. Okay, then we got one spot over here, and then we'll do the ground. Which is a level of detail I'll never look at again. But just in case it catches my eye underneath here, I'd rather go ahead and get it done. Hopefully we don't run into any pockets of lava. Here we go. And doop, 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 doop. Okay, so we got the chest on this side. Let's plop it down. There. And there. Probably doesn't have to be that big. But just in case. Oh, and this block here is marking where I want to put the boat down. So I want to kind of straighten it up with this row here. And I found that I'll either go kind of towards the middle or left or right. And then I'll kind of stay in a proverbial lane. Because my head's technically stuck in the block. But this way, no zombie pigmen spawn on the road. That was my initial problem. That's what you would have seen last week if I finished my recording. I did not. So I just scrapped it. We're starting new this week. So there we go. That's the basics. Pretty sure. Yeah, I'm checking my picture that I had saved on the side. That's pretty much how I had it looking. So now we got to do the same thing on the other side. Which might. Let's just go ahead and pick up shop. Give me this. Give me that. Oh, I need one of those because they have boats in it. Dang it. Yeah. Need this one. Need one of these boats. I guess we can go ahead and unpack some of those boats into this one. That's about half, right? I was thinking half on one side, half the other. But anyway, the boats will break, go into the hoppers, and then go back into this chest. That's what the idea is. We'll go like that, like that. I'll need to keep one of these out. Now let's go break this box. And boop. There we go. Now you can see I'll ride this in real time here. Kind of get lined up with this hole. Put that down. Jump in. And let's go. But yeah, this is a really long, still super long road. It was even longer when we had to walk it or ride a horse back and forth. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the update hopefully coming out soon minecraft 1.13 aquatic update i don't even know all the different things that are you know coming our way as far as updates go i mean i know the basics but it seems like it's been going on for so long i'm sure there's plenty of things we forgot about and there we go so now we just gotta build the same thing on this side give me my x and we'll have it work in both ways all right, I think we've made a pretty good effort making everything look all nice and pretty and polished. Pretty good for two episodes worth. Well, two episodes worth. Only one episode, though. Since I missed last week. But yeah, here we have a little little micro hub. like Kind of like how I did on the other side. You'll see in a minute. I just wanted to kind of give myself room to maybe do like another project off this way. Maybe off that way or that way. All general directions we could go. Still have the old nether hub sign here from the previous design. Here we have like another little space where I can come in here, cook things. We've got hidden furnace right there. And then we've got the anvil, the ender chest, the crafting bench. Everything's ready to go. Here's some kind of like the miscellaneous storage. I'll show you. This is all the packed dice I have left in the world. All of it is right here. That is the leftovers from building the road over here. And speaking of which, here's our little hub for that. I think it looks pretty nice. It's a nice little micro place to launch these boats from, which is what I was kind of going for. The tunnel is the same. And also the, I guess, boat catcher? I guess that's what we'd call it. I'm dedicating it to another commenter. Fix it for 12. You can go check out his channel at youtube.com slash fix it 412 I'll leave a link in the description too really good guy makes fantastic videos if you like my videos you're really gonna like his too well, I think we play generally about the same kind of style more emphasis on building you know a little bit of redstone here and there 
But yeah, it's ever since I subscribed, I've been watching every one of his episodes. They've launched a new multiplayer server too, which looks really cool. And yeah, just go check him out. That's what happens when you leave comments on my channel. I'll give you a little shout out. If anybody else has a YouTube channel, make sure you let me know in the comments. And if I don't get it next episode, then I'll try to get the one after that. I'd really like to give more people plugs, kind of socialize a bit more here and there, which we've got another launcher on the other side, or catcher. It's not really a launcher. I'm the launcher. I push forward. And we have another catcher that's dedicated to another commenter who has another YouTube channel you might want to check out. As soon as we get down there, this is still a really long roadway. Ah, there we go. Oh, come on. No, no. Uh huh. There we go. I think there's a bit of delay there. Slevin Ice, boat catcher, and his YouTube channel, since he only has 12 subscribers, the channel length was like super long. But go check him out too. I'll leave that in the description too so you can check it out. There we have the boat landed back in here. And we kind of had the same kind of design on this side. I like it. I went with this same kind of look here like we did in this room because I liked it so much. So I thought, hey, why don't we just do that again? And then I kind of decorated a little bit right here just to kind of give it its own little vibe. You know, there's always room for decoration. We did another one of these another wart plant things. I almost want to move the horse holder here over one just to get rid of that double spot there that we have. That's just kind of how it worked out. I guess we could not have it perfect. No, it has to be even. Everything has to be even. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way all this turned out. You put a boat there, go flying off that way. Crashes into this, he lands in the hopper, goes in the large chest. All in all, I think we did a pretty good job today. I'll also show you that I cleaned up my mess. We can get back down there into the nether hub. We kind of finished today's episode where we started it back over this way. But yeah, cleaned up all the fence and where we had all the horses at the beginning of the episode. So that's all cleaned up. Pretty much put up all my blocks and things. We still kind of have a miscellaneous catch-all chest here, but uh, I know where it is where I need it, or when I need it. Let's kind of go with that. But here we have famine. Where's... Aha, there's pestilence. Got two horses there. One more horse ready to go on this side. And I think that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what your YouTube channel is. And I might even give it a shout out on this channel on my next episode. And I will see you guys again next time. Hopefully with Minecraft 1.13.